Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have for you guys kind of a scattered, rambly, random video. So if you like that, <laughs> stick around. Um... now I had like a weird day I was in the mood to film but I didn't know what to film and so I was doing all these random plant things um, I air layered which you already seen that video I repotted or repotted some plants which I don't even think I posted and I cut um, and I ended up cutting up my philodendron uh, silver sword that I've had for quite a while and the growth has been pretty wonky and but yeah so I ended up cutting up my philodendron silver sword how many times can I say silver sword um and I didn't really film an intro or an outro because I was just filming a bunch of random crap and this was like the last thing I did and um I've had some success so I kind of wanted to show you guys what I did and how I did it so you will see that now um it is very weird yeah, so when I got it, it had three sticks in it. This stick has died, so we're taking that out. So there is two left, two plants left in here. Um, I think I, where did I get this from? Little Exotics? Is that a plant store? They also sell bugs and stuff. I can't remember. Um, but I have had this plant for quite some time, over a year. Um, when I first got it, like, it didn't grow, and then eventually it started growing, and it started putting out these really, like, the leaves kept getting stuck in the sheath. Uh, so they're very wonky looking. So what I want to do is I want to separate these two plants, and I want to, this plant is more uh full and then this is much taller but it has like two or three nodes here that don't have any leaves so i've been kind of thinking about cutting this one up for propagation but first i'm just gonna take this out and uh see what's happening Okay, so here's that other, the rest of that stem that, when it shipped me, it had no leaves on it, so it's not surprising that it didn't survive. Let me just try to, this guy doesn't have the best root system either, but, wow, there's quite a bit of notage here okay so my plan for this one this is the one that i didn't want to propagate but since it has so many nodes down here that are being wasted um so to a little bit of information i guess i can give here so i'm just trying to take a closer look to see if they are spent nodes um which i don't really know that much about but and i don't really know if it's a real thing or not but what I've been hearing is something about spent nodes. So a spent node, from what I understand, is a node that will never uh, grow into a plant. Um, like I said, I'm not 100% sure that it's a real thing, but these are not that if there is, if it is a real thing. So here is, so first let me, okay, start over here. So there's, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nodes that were under the soil for this plant. Um, and here is, this is the second node that was down. So here is the root system from that node. It's kind of hard to see. And then here is the node and right 
here there's that little white-ish light colored dot. So that is the axial bud and that is where the new leaves will form from that specific node. So for sure that one is not a spent node. Some of these don't have that bump but that is okay. I'm going to be chopping it anyways. So I am going to be leaving this first node here that was under the soil. I'm going to be leaving that one alone and then I'm going to be cutting the rest of them off. So let's do that first. I did just clean the scissors and dry them off a little bit better. Okay. So I want to make sure that I don't cut that little growth point either. So I'm going to be cutting right here. Good and healthy and can actively absorb water. So that is good. And then here is the propagation. Um, here are all the nodes that were under the that were under the soil. They all generally look like they have decent roots as well. There's just not a whole lot of them. So for now, I'm going to leave this all connected to give it a higher chance um, of survival so it doesn't go into quite a crazy shock. So I'm going to be potting this all up as one. Just let that chill out right there. And here's the one that I was planning on cutting up, the bigger one that has these. Uh, there's only two. I am going to just cut this once right here. That is what I'm deciding now. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna cut this quite a bit lower than I did the other one because there's much more space here. So if you have all this extra stem um, in between the nodes, clo cut closer to the next node than to up here because if it starts to rot like in the middle here, you'll have a higher chance to notice it before it hits the node. So I'm going to cut it lower. So what I was trying to say is, so let's say this starts to rot from down here. By the time it gets to even halfway, I should be able to notice it. Uh, and then I can cut it again if I need to before it hits this node. Um, but I'm going to leave this as one cutting here with these two empty nodes. And hope we can get this guy rooted up. And this guy I'm just going to put right back into the original pot. And then I have this bamboo steak I got from somewhere, I don't know. And I'm just going to give it a little bit more support. And that will hopefully help the, the plant get a little bit more, uh, give, get a little bit bigger leaves. Okay, it's pretty wonky, but um, that should do for now. I'm gonna give it all, all of these guys that I potted up a little bit of a drink. I guess the one sphagnum will be fine because the sphagnum was already wet. And this one, since they were so dry. before I stick it in water and hopefully he roots up pretty easily. I have not propagated this kind before, but I mean, it's a philodendron, so it should do fine. And then here is this, uh, these nodes that I cut off from the bottom of this guy. Uh, and uh, let's hope that these grow some new baby plants. 
I don't really remember even what I did or what I said necessarily in that video portion you just saw. But that was me, I don't even know, a couple months ago now, maybe not even that long. I don't know. I don't know when it was. I'll Maybe I'll put a time or a date on the screen. Um, but I kind of just wanted to show you guys how things have been going. Um, so this was like the mother plant, I guess I would say, that I didn't cut anything from. Um, no, that's a lie. I think... There's a thrip on here. Okay. So, pretty sure this plant has thrips. Yay. And it was just like sitting right here next to my white wizard and Squammy Ferrum and Thai Constellation and all my Hoyas. Okay. Okay. Well. Maybe I'll make a video about killing thrips. <laughs> Probably everywhere. Okay, so it's wet now and I watered it, um, but I sprayed it down with eight and rinsed off all the leaves and watered it. So that's where we're at. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to make a thrip video. Uh, so I'm about pretty sure that's what that was. Um, yeah. So this is the silver sword cutting, or I don't even know what you would call it. I am like all flustered now. I don't even know what I'm saying. Um, I did cut off several nodes, I believe from the bottom. Cause when I repotted it or up potted it or whatever you want to say, there was like, I don't even know this many nodes underneath the dirt and so I chopped it off um I'll get into that a little bit later but god there might be thrift damage all over this plant and I've just never noticed oops this is what I would consider the mother plant. It is starting to push out a new growth. It also has thrips. So we're just having a grand old time over here. But from what I can tell, overall, this plant is didn't receive any shock or anything from me cutting off the bottom. Um, I will show you this part next. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven nodes. And I'm pretty sure six of them are active. Because um, they say there is such thing as a spent node. I've not necessarily experienced that. Maybe I'm experiencing it now. Um, but I'm not 100% sure that's a real thing. Let me know in the comments if you have experienced a spent node situation. Sorry, I'm waiting for thrips because I had this up in my grow tent. So that would suck. And I took two other cuttings, so I had, um, I believe there was originally three stocks or three plants in the pot and one of them died because all the leaves fell off when I got it in the mail and it just never grew back. And then I had two other stocks. This was one and this was the top of another one. Um, and I decided to behead it because the new growth point here kind of just stopped living. 
Um, and here is the top cutting from that. It has not done anything. It does look like it's starting to rot, so I'll need to cut the bottom off there uh, where that yellowing is. But it has not pushed out any new leaves and it has not pushed out any grow or any roots. So we'll see. I'll keep them in water for now. Maybe I'll put them in moss. I don't know. I wanted to show you guys how I was going to cut this up even more since it is now starting to grow. I do have it in moss, so I wanted to take it out and see what See what the situation is under there um, but all these little bumps here that's where leaves will come from over time um, so I kind of want to just separate all of these and so it's not focusing on just this set just this big growth so it has time to focus on each node um, so I guess let's take it out of here first and see what's happening. So there are some new roots growing. They look really happy and healthy. So that's nice to see. But I will just be cutting the nodes uh, that have roots. Some of the nodes don't have roots, so I don't want them to you know, be a known. So, so there's this big chunk of root here. I'm going to cut right there. So here is the little plant baby, the the new leaves, the node, and the root. These are the biggest roots. I probably made way too much sperm. Eat slime. That is adorable. And this one's kind of a pinky color. Well, that is going to be it for this video. I hope it was helpful on how you guys can propagate your own silver swords or this would really work for any upright philodendron, I'm sure. Generally speaking, you need a node and that's all you need for philodendron. So don't be as scared to cut your plants because it is really rewarding in the end. Because even if this doesn't grow, this rots, like yes, that'll be a bummer, but I have the mother plant and then I have one two three you even if you just want to count this as one four plants and then upstairs I have another bottom cutting um yeah but aren't these planters so cute just so cute I don't know, I think she got these off of Amazon and like they were just way smaller than she was expecting. So she just gifted them to me. Um, but yeah, I hope this video was helpful. Um, let me know if you have any tips and tricks on how to get rid of uh, thrips. I'm going to treat it like I would any other pest and just, you know, spray them down, wipe all the leaves, wash the leaves. 
repeat. Um, yeah, but that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys could like and subscribe. And if you want, you can follow me on Instagram. I do try to put pictures on my story every day. Uh, it doesn't always happen, but I try. Um, yeah, and I am going to be doing a giveaway when I hit 100 subscribers here on YouTube. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you want to be involved in that. I'm giving away um, an Albo Syngonium that I have been rooting in Lekka for a couple months now. So, yeah. Alright, well I hope you guys have a great day. We'll see you in my next one. Bye.